Good evening and a million thanks for joining us on the broadcast of Monday 27th December 2021. And on the highlights, Gatnan Emmanuel Hamson some credit to celebrate Moses Ekbo at 80. Youth widows and the less privileged blessed their loyalty to Gatnan Odom as Dr. Gloria de celebrates Christmas. Bible taking test stand to win 2021 gold and ultimate search season 12. Why we state government investment in art and entertainment laudable, Itoro 80. Why bridge a hose, memorable children's Super Bowl side party. Why the man spent, who spent four years in prison after catching Lando sleeping with his wife regains total freedom. Troops arrest notorious hip hop and ESN leader recover M. Amor in Enugu. The name is Joshua Akpa and the news in details Governor Odom Emmanuel is stressed that the gratitude is a command from God that must not be taken for granted. The Rakhwaibam State Governor kept that ammunition while speaking at the special Thanksgiving service held at St. John's Brook Cathedral back to commemorate the 18th birthday of the state's Deputy Governor, Mr. Moses Ekbo. Governor Emmanuel commended Mr. Moses' gestures of convening the Thanksgiving service to acknowledge God's grace despite the trial of life. Such attitude, he added, must have been the reason for Mr. Ekbo's continuous rising, warning that the life of ingratitude stores progress and prosperity. Dwelling further on the pages of Mr. Moses' book, Captain Emmanuel allowed that the outstanding intellectual and oratory capacity of his deputy, with which he said that Ekbu has given the state and his government a private representation as various fora within and outside the state without need for a guide. The governor therefore took our time to thank God for his deputy's 18th birth anniversary and for a quiet home state, especially for the peace enjoyed in the state as he made donations to support the church building project initiated by Mr. Ekbu on that occasion. The celebrator Mr. Moses Ekbu said that the occasion availed him an opportunity to appreciate God's help, his success and failures, trials and triumph, and that uh, for God's anointing on Governor Emmanuel to pilot the affairs of the state and for the humanitarian disposition of the state first lady, Master Emmanuel. Mrs. Moses Ekbo also used the occasion to present gifts to 419 widows drawn from all the three senatorial districts of the state and all church denominations led through the instrumentality of the Christians Association of Nigeria. This, he said, was to demonstrate his gratitude to God at 80. In the spirit of the Yuletal, the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Dean of Commission and Special Advisors, Dr. Gloria, did today, Monday, December 27, celebrated with the less privileged widows and youths of the local government area. A colorful event which took place at Adoro, Ipe residents attracted many indigenous dignitaries, including the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Land, Local Government and Chief Density Affairs, Elda Ini Iki, Ini PDP, Chapter Chairman, Honorable Manuel Uma, female appointees of government, amongst others. Dr. Edward, while distributing various gifts and items to the beneficiaries, lauded the governor, Udomi Manuel administration for the positive impact created in the state and charged the beneficiaries to always pray for the government of the day. The aim of the meeting, she noted, was to celebrate with the widows and less privileged and youths during Christians and to interface with them. The agriculture was encouraged the women to be good ambassadors of the gender perspective of the, where they find themselves and charge them to take advantage of the ongoing PDP registration and revalidation exercise to get themselves better equipped for the demands of the 2023 general elections and and join them to continue supporting the administration of Governor Odom Emmanuel till 2023 and beyond. An indigenous of a quiet 
dates or due to email to us being announced that the winner of the 2021 gold the ultimate sage season 12 he made the ultimate craft man after breeding 20 contestants to find that the alcohol a cold chest he came in and as a wild card and one of the two youngest contestants but now the champion of this year's edition as the winner of the age of craftsmanship edition of the show he will be going home with the total price of 50 million naira worth of prices which includes an suv Chief Executive Officer of Beautiful Imagination, Dr. Mrs. Tituru Eti, has commended the investment potentials of a quiet state government in arts and entertainment, describing them as a welcome development for capacity building and development of the creative economy of the state, describing Governor Udemy Manuel and First Lady Dr. Mata Udemy Manuel as one of the most act, cultural, and entertainment friendly leaders. Dr. Etim, who is a member of the Aquarium State Judicial Service Commission, observed that the impact of the unquantifiable support extended by the administration to the entertainment industry has promoted the creativity of the people, led to discovery of new talent and created employment opportunities for many. Dr. Etim, who was reacting following the successful stage performance of the Epic Christmas a drama title Behold the Prince of Peace at the Christmas Village and Nibon Plaza on the 24th and of Peace and 25th days of December respectively noted that the investment of the governor, Emmanuel led administration in the entertainment industry could trigger and attract corporate investors to the state. She disclosed that beautiful imagination especially sought collaboration with the Aquarium State Government in the presentation of the Christmas performance to spice the period to retell the story of the birth of Jesus Christ and entertain the countless stories to the state who came to enjoy the unique Christmas celebration in Aquarium State. It was indeed a day to remember for kids and parents has top rated hospitality outfit in Nigeria, Wabridge Hotels and Sutu, you hosted its children's poolside fiesta yesterday. The fun field did anchored by the popular uncle Chico witness a massive turnout as parents treated the words to a most memorable Yotal show. That Hotels at Super Bowl side was packed to capacity as children splashed in the clean pool, danced and enjoyed recreational games. Popular cartoon characters including Mikey, Cows, Mouse and Ben Ten were also on hand to play with the children, took photographs with them and pop fun round. Parents were not left how that they've sat by and enjoyed the spectacles, some of them later partook in the dance competition where winners received pampas from Father Christmas that all the kids were then ushered into the underground bridge lounge of the hotel where Santa Claus was there to hand them gifts including food and snacks and back to school items. Speaking on the children's party, the general manager of the hotel, Otumba Sunday Ajahi, said that it was at the hotel's way of carrying the children along in its lines of services. He said that, that the hotel was one that was conscious of the importance of family moments during the holiday as such, the need to put together the party which really brought families together. He assures us that the party will become an annual event in the hotel. A man identified as Mr. Demeno who has been Incarcerated in the prison custody for about four years, he has regained his freedom. Mr. Reno was released from the prison on Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021, at the intervention of the founder of the Omega Power Ministry, Apostle Chibuzor Chift Chiyere. Mr. Reno's scene was that the reportedly cop landed sleeping with his wife and in apparent move to silence him. He was allegedly ran before a court that remanded him in the prison custody in order to pave way for the landlords and wife to continue in their escapade. According to reports, the landlord is late while the wife has gone blind. Mr. Reno, who is 
homeless at the moment is taking refuse in one of the OPM's free estates in Port Harcourt, sharing the news of the release of a norm. The general officer of the OPM, Apostle Chibuzo Gifts, Chinyere wrote on his Facebook handle, another young man that has spent more than four years in prison was just released now by Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, OPM. The man, Mr. Bidemi Eno, has a very sad story with him. Troops of 82 Division Nigeria Army, in conjunction with other security agencies while conducting exercise Golden Down, have arrested one Godwin Namdi, a notorious leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and Eastern Security Network in Nkanu East local government's area. The Epoch leader was arrested during joint clearance operation at a camp suspected to be the fortress of Epoch ESN elements located at Opofu. Forest in Kano East, local government area of Enugu State, on Sunday, 25th December 2021. During the clearance operation, troops engaged in dissident in fire fights, compelling them to take to the hills, leading to the arrest of the leader. Troops recovered various items, including one AK 47 rifle, one magazine containing 21 rounds of 7.962 mm special. One handset amongst others, the chief of army staff, and lifted in general, Farouk Yahaya, while commenting troops for the successful successes recorded thus far, charged them to come and clear all suspected hideouts of criminal elements in the area of responsibility. <laughs> That's the news this evening. Before we round up, let's first stop stories to omit the headline. Captain Emmanuel have some gratitude. Cuts celebrate Moses Ekbo at 80. Get widows and the less privileged pledge their loyalty to Governor Odom as Dr. Glory it celebrates Christmas. Five of state contestants wins 2021 gold the ultimate search season 12. Five of state government investment in acts and entertainment loud body to 18. Wild Bridge holds memorable children's super poolside party. Bible man who spent four years in prison after catching Lalo sleeping with his wife regains total freedom. Troops arrest the notorious pop ESN leader recovered M. Amor in a new group. For more updates, do also visit our webpage at www.boomvoice.business.blog and our YouTube channel at Boomvoice TV. A million thanks for joining us on the broadcast this evening. Merry Xmas and a prosperous new year in advance.